I feel like I should try to do this all in a Russian accent, but I don't do a good uh, uh, Russian accent. Uh, but this movie comes from good old Mother Russia, and it's Major Groom, Plague Doctor. Basically a Marvel wannabe, and I took it as, you know, the Zuckerberg from Facebook, like this is, or even, not more Zuckerberg, because he has that more of the, more of that look. But it was, what if Zuckerberg became Batman, is basically what I got. Um, it was okay. I, I, I liked the fact that it was like a, a dark take on the superhero genre. If you remember the movie V for Vendetta, it's basically that plot, but but uh, badly executed, right? And it has a mixture of Sherlock Holmes in it with the main, you know, the the detective. He he's always saying think, and he plays these scenarios in his hands. And at first, I thought he had like some superhuman action. And I'm like, does he have super power? Like he could tell the future and he reenacts it. But no, he's just like Sherlock Holmes and thinks ahead of time. And that's how he comes up with like, oh, if I try this, this will happen. And if I do this, this will happen. And he tries to come up with the best possible outcome. And then he acts upon that. But it's basically V for Vendetta where the antagonist, the plague doctor, is basically uh fighting for injustices right for the poor and he develops the same way that v you know uh, v did in v for vendetta he uh, the people start believing him in him because they believe he's a vigilante for for good right and in this one in this in this movie the plague doctor uh people see him as a robin hood as fighting for the small people which ends up having uh, people, normal people, start dressing them like they even even like masks, like V for Vendetta. They have these kind of like crow mask, I guess, or Toucan Sam mask, however you want to call it. Uh, it feels like really, really just a, a cheap ripoff of V for Vendetta. Like I said, Doctor Plague, the the Plague Doctor is just a vigilante like Batman, and he looks like Batman. He, you know, Seppi has like flamethrowers, but it's like some rich dude and he's a tech savvy and he has all this technology. But then there's a twist, right? As you get along, there's a twist and it's like the twist in Fight Club. You see these two people, right? And you think that the, the Zuckerberg character, the millionaire, the tech savvy dude is just being used while his friend, because you see this other guy that dresses up like the plague doctor and towards the middle end part of it probably the start of the third act uh you we get the revelation that oh no it's all in in his head and that he's been truly the the plague doctor and uh, like it's supposed to be like this huge reveal but it just feels again like it's just cheaply it's like four movies stolen from movies like i said earlier sherlock holmes fee for vendetta Batman or DC properties and Fight Club all mixed together and at the end it's a story about friendship right because the doctor doesn't have any I mean the, the detective doesn't have any friends that ultimately solves the uh, the case but he ends up having two friends because he has to learn to trust to be able to take down this this vigilante that is the the, the plague doctor I mean, like, it was way too long. The pacing was horrible. So, such, so bad pacing, so boring. It's two hours and some change. It, it felt like it was three hours. It felt like it, like it was agonizing to watch the whole movie. And I get that this movie, I think it's trending or was trending. I don't think it's in the top 10, but it was trending. And I saw the previews and I was intrigued in it. And But... 30 minutes could have been knocked off of this uh, movie and it would have made at least for the pacing would have been better and it would have been uh, better digested, which I think would have helped this movie a lot. Don't get me wrong. It feels like a, a like a Marvel property in the way that it was, you know, that it feels. And there's like even like two end credits, one mid credit, one mid uh, end credits and one a, a, a end credit. Like so they're trying to do the whole Marvel thing and set up like a universe. And maybe there is a universe. If you know that the, this this is coming from a from a comic or its own universe, I could respect that honestly. If that's the case, and in the beginning, it's actually the best, most enjoyable aspect. I don't know if it's from the same production that did Game of Thrones, or if they're stealing that kind of um, 
of intro and if you remember the what is it uh, avengers age of ultron the end credits where it's like that statue uh, mosaic and they go one by one but at the end they pull out and you see this whole thing it's basically that in a nutshell in the in the in the in the intro and that was probably the best part that got me hooked i was like oh my god look at these great graphics in the intro this is going to be dope if you like b for vendetta and you like some you know this political satire with a twist and a cheap you know batman knockoff with sherlock holmes trying to find you know batman then maybe you'll enjoy this movie for me i gave this movie a c i could have i was thinking about giving it a c minus just because it just dragged so long and there was so much talking and exposition that didn't need to be there and like i said earlier if you would have knocked out 30 minutes maybe it could have been you know a little bit more interesting where i could have gave it like maybe a b a b minus but because they were trying to to rip off a ton of movies it wasn't original it was just again ripping off other movies and plate putting it all together and made a clusterfuck of a movie and this felt like a cluster of a movie so that's why i gave it the c it's poorly executed it's not maybe it's paying homage to all these other movies but if it's doing that it's do it did it in a very very poor fashion but again my rating for this movie is a c but those are just my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. What did you think of Major Groom Plague Doctor? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Do you think the C rating is too high, too low, just right? Put your thoughts down in the comments. And like always, that's a wrap.